What's up, everyone? Thanks for stopping by. They call me KK. It is a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Welcome to another tutorial video. This is going to be, well, I wouldn't say this is a tutorial video. This is more of a video on how to enhance your vocals in your upcoming videos. So if you're new to commentary, just like me at this point in time, <laughs> you want to vamp up your your videos you want them to be good obviously you want to edit them make them look good spend time on them but also the most important you want to have great vocal usage with you know a decent mic because usually there's people out there that just use the mic and they're far far away from it like like this is usually what they sound like let me let me give you an example they're way over here and you can't really hear them but you know they're there so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to, I guess, if you guys don't know how to record your voice by now, then you're going to, you know, relearn it. But also I want to show you, I'm going to, or I'm going to show you about some editing that will make your voice seem more alive and more in depth. So if you haven't already, this is for the Mac and PC. Go, you're going to have to go and download the Audacity, Audacity program, which is your usually just record everything Every almost everyone uses this uses this um this program so what we're going to do we're going to pull in some full screen we're going to show you what this is all about if you've never learned don't know anything about this program i'm sorry this is not going to help you but make sure you have microphone set up preferably snowball or yetis i'd say that's my preference because they are great microphones but also, just make sure your your things in check. Your input's not too high, output's not too low. You know, speakers there, whatever. Do your thing. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start recording, and then I'm gonna show you how to edit your vocals to make them sound, you know, more more interesting, I guess. So let's let's think of something. Oh, okay. What's up, everyone? They call me KK. It is a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Boom. All right, so we're going to use what I just said right there, and I'm going to show you how to pop this up, make it more in-depth, make it more subtle, and just overall better than the usual um, commentary. So what we're going to do is see all this necessary, like these little ticks in here and whatnot. I don't like these. These drive me insane. What we're going to do is we're going to try, we're going to get rid of this background nonsense. Like if you have an AC, if you have heater, if you have yelling dogs or <laughs> yelling dog yelling parents barking dogs if you have any of that this will help a lot in some way it won't take it all out but it will help so let's listen through the whole clip first oh shoot what I do let's listen to the whole clip first oh, okay what's up everyone they call me KK it is a pleasure and honor being with you here today boom there you go we saw that we got it good what we want to do is we want to highlight this part of the section we want to go into the effect now if you have a pen and paper make sure to pick it up if you are interested in using this stuff for your commentary make sure to write it down because there is a lot of steps to this process so what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the noise removal we're going to get that noise see that right here this is the noise profile we want get that highlight the whole set go back into effect hit the noise removal removal set it to okay and boom there it goes all gone now if we listen nothing really there so that's good so but i'm just gonna chop it up just for you know video's sake make it shorter let me delete it and all right this is the this is the mostly what we're going to be working on the most vamp this up so now that we have all the noise background taken care of, the next thing we want to do is to, I would say, my preference in steps, and if you've seen different, whatever, this is my steps, I like doing this this way. What we're going to do is we're going to go into effect, we're going to have to go to equalization, and we want to put on the bass boost first. The bass boost with 12, uh, 12 decibels on, and maybe between you know if you guys want to copy this you can copy this this is what it is so decibels right there we got this good with everything bass boost put it up and as it is you see the bass for my voice 
gets more, I guess you'd say, make yourself sound more manly, muscular. Don't know. But we're going to listen to it now. What's up, everyone? They call me KK. It is a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Gives it a little bit more of a little bit more of a beat boost whatever makes it sounds you know just big <laughs> so then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into equalization back into the select my curve and i'm going to select the trouble boost right yeah trouble trouble boost we're going to trouble boost it make sure the trouble is all the way up get a good decimal on it boom listen to it one more time what's up everyone they call me kk it is a pleasure and honor being with you here today good Sounds about right. It's beginning to even out in a way, but we're not all the way there. So the next thing we're going to do is to hard... No, we're not going to hard limit it yet. We're going to have to compress it. We need to compress the whole segment together. Make sure everything's good. You can copy my stats once again. Make sure these are unchecked. And hit OK. Good. Everything's now compressed. All your audio, your vocals is compressed. What's up, everyone? They call me KK. It is a pleasure and honor being with you here today. And it sounds good. Also, make sure when you're recording, have a pop filter around your mic so that your P's ain't saying like, P -p -p -p, or like put a sock over it either way, because this is what it sounds like with the pop filter. P -p 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 -p. This is what it sounds like without. <laughs> Terrible, right? All right, so now... So now we compress the whole audio. We want to select the whole audio once again. Go into effect. Make sure we go to normalization. We're going to normalize the whole thing. Make sure it's all steady. One decibel, minus one decibel. Uh, make sure those are two checked, non-checked. Hit OK. Boom. Now it just got bigger, bigger, better, better. So now let's listen to it. What's up, everyone? They call me KK. It is a pleasure, and honor being with you here today. Sounds good. Sounds pretty good. We're getting up there. It's starting to sound crisp and clean. I like it. But there is another thing we need to do, and that is going to hard limit it. What hard limiting does is that it cuts off the tops to where you are not sounding too, um, too loud in a way. And usually what they do is maybe a negative three, between negative three and negative five decimal limit. But the best, the one, the one decibel limit I use is probably a negative four. Negative four, I go with that because it's in between. Why not? Hit that up. Press OK. Cuts off. So you see now that some of them are cut off. Now you can listen through it. What's up, everyone? They call me KK. It is a pleasure and honor being with you here today. There's no static even at the high points of the video. So after that, you are going to want to um, compress it one more time. Make sure it's all compressed. Listen to it. What's up, everyone? They call me KK. It is a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Boom. Good. And then after that, you want to, one more time, make sure you normalize it once again. Negative one, as always. Bam. And our results. What's up, everyone? They call me KK. It is a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Now, you can go around, mess with this, you know, tweak it a little bit, tweak it in the ways you want. But overall, that is your vocal standing out. Your vocal's not being too bad, too clingy, too anything. Those are right vocals. So for your next commentary, if you want to use this trick, do it. If not, be yourself. And always stay classy, my friend.